this week you'll be doing a distillation and you'll be working on this experiment individually. The lab manual is written so that it has directions for a simple distillation. It also has directions for a fractional distillation. But you will do only one of these, either a simple distillation or a fractional distillation, and you'll share data with another student who did the other kind of distillation. And then, once you have both sets of data, you'll compare the efficiency of separation of simple distillation to the efficiency of the fractional distillation. So the experiment goes like this. You'll have 25 milliliters of toluene and 25 milliliters of cyclohexane and combine them in a round bottom flask. Then you'll set up the distillation apparatus and you'll heat the round bottom flask and measure the temperature of the vapor that comes off and then collect the distillate as it comes out of the distillation apparatus. You'll measure the, you'll record the temperature every five milliliters and uh, then ultimately make a graph of the temperature versus the volume of distillate as it comes off and you'll plot both the simple distillation and the fractional distillation data on one graph. Now, as you can see in the graph, the temperature increases, look at the, the black line, the temperature increases gradually until about 25 milliliters, and then the temperature increases rather sharply, and then it increases gradually again. Now look at the blue line, the other line is the fractional distillation, and you can see the temperature actually changes a little bit more slowly until 25 milliliters, and this line is steeper up to the higher temperature, and then it increases gradually again. So the way that you can tell the difference in efficiency between simple distillation and fractional distillation is by the steepness of this, this intermediate portion of the graph, because at the beginning of the distillation, you're distilling off mostly the lower boiling component. In this case, it's cyclohexane. At the end of the distillation, you're distilling off most of the higher boiling component. In this case, it's toluene for the distillation that you're doing. So the larger the difference or the more sudden the difference between the first portion and the last portion of the graph, that tells you the more efficient the separation has been. So what you expect is that the fractional distillation will be more efficient and the simple distillation will be less efficient. But you'll be collecting data to see if this is the case or not.